12. He is one of Indy's most favored sons. He left his mark on our collective imaginations and also on our city. You know who I'm talking about, beloved author Kurt Vonnegut. Here with me this morning is Julia Whitehead. She's the CEO of the Kurt Vonnegut Memorial Library, which is celebrating Slaughterhouse Five author with Vonnegut Fest. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. We know this is an exciting time of the year for you guys, and there are so many wonderful events. Yes. What is Vonnegut Fest all about? Vonnegut Fest is a celebration of everything Vonnegut. You know, he wasn't just an author. He was a very funny man. He appreciated <laughs> humor, and he was an artist. Um, and so we're featuring an artist um, today, and that is at 4 p.m. at okay. Central Library. Um, artist Sam Van Aken created a tree of 40 fruit, literally wow. 40 different kinds of fruit wow. growing on one tree. Gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is about reading, of course, but yes. much more beyond that. Why do you think Kurt Vonnegut has made such an incredible connection with our city? Uh, well, you know, he grew up here. He went to Short Ridge High School. He came back to Indianapolis. He wrote about Indianapolis in his books. He loved Indianapolis. He was sometimes frustrated with right. Indianapolis, but he truly loved the city. Um, and he's, you know, he's a he's an American thinker. We right. should be proud to have him as as. Uh, a native Hoosier. You know, you find his quotes on uh, little magnets and gift yeah. shops really across Indianapolis still, and people identify with him. Um, talk to us about all the different things that people can do starting this morning, most of it for free. Yes, at Printext in uh, Broad Ripple, south of Broad Ripple, uh, we are having the author Ginger Strand, who wrote a wonderful book about Kurt Vonnegut and his brother Bernard, who was a very interesting person himself. <laughs> Um, so please do do come to that this morning at 10. At noon, we are releasing our literary journal. Wow. Um, this is free to all veterans today. So please come by and hear uh, the contributors to the magazine. You can keep holding that so we oh, get a good. better look. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. You and it up a little higher even so we get a look at okay, it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And this um, includes poetry, short stories, art, photographs, um, and we'll have a number of contributors coming in from around the country wow. to read and show their work today. Okay, and then there's some fun going on tonight too, right? Yes, tonight, and, and may I also mention our yes. veterans panel, Very at, cool. um, and that is at 2 p.m. at Central Library, uh, again free, uh, Army Captain with his service dog, mm -hmm. um, talking about um, his experience in Iraq, Steven Skeep. Mm -hmm. We'll be moderating that panel discussion, and, and Dan Wakefield, the author Dan Wakefield, will be part of that. And then tonight is the Time Quake Clam Bake. There are still tickets available at vonnegutlibrary.org for that feast. Right. And Yes. Well, we so appreciate you coming in. Again, a little bit more information on your screen. You can see it all starts here in just a little bit at 10 o'clock, and there's yes. events going on all day. Most of it's for free and yes. really a chance to celebrate an Indiana hero and a beloved author, Kurt Vonnegut. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. The